Hello everyone, uh, welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of entity framework core. Okay, so let's just start to demo whatever what we'll achieve in this session. So we'll achieve actually in last session we cover or uh, we implement, you know, uh, that one to one relation, the entity and DB contacts and, you know, connection string, everything we have set up. Also, we explain in the great details. So, so now in this session, we'll implement those, you know, entity like that one to one relationship entity how we can you know uh, use that in a current operation like how we can you know uh, read the data how we can the post the data how we can update the data how we can delete the data okay so let's see like uh, let's see like okay so uh, let me add one more data like angular and what is angular okay just execute so once you add it see this is added over here okay same things so you can just retrieve the data okay it is there and then also retrieve by the id okay so see retrieve the id and also we can update the id based on the id okay so let me change this to two also change to blazor instead of blaze execute it is updated also let me check again see it is changed to blazor and then finally i want to delete okay let me delete and then check is there any data over there or not okay so this is post okay this is get so see there's no data okay so let's get started to implementation okay so open same same example which is be taken in last session or if you first time visit in my channel so definitely i may especially recommend to you uh, go to my channel and go to you know that you know ef core series in last session actually we covered you know uh, that uh, that you know one-to-one uh, -one relationship how we can you know implement that one-to-one -one relationship to table okay so that we achieve and also we have to we have create actually data db context okay and also we have set the set uh, db set data uh, yeah db set and also we create the modeling okay also mapping that one to one relationship we have also how we can get the connection string from that program.cs file everything we has covered okay so now in in here i will just remove that old whatever existing uh, controller we have to remove and we have to add a fresh controller okay the name is we can name is to this is one to one okay so because it is a one to one relationship so that's why i will set a controller name as a one to one okay let me add okay first what i need to do i need to just you know inject the db context class okay so how we can do that just create a constructor of that controller and just pass to db block db block db context okay and just create a set a variable and set as a private property and assign to the constructor okay inject in the constructor level okay that is done okay now what i need to do i need to create first a get block okay how we can get all the data uh, from the blog and you know one to one relationship table okay so that i need to implement okay so let me create one get http get method okay and here just wasting up time just i'll just copy up copy the code i'll explain what i'm doing okay so what i'm doing i just create a you know get endpoint okay the get blocks endpoint okay here what i did i just whatever i you know db context class the db context class actually we have a uh, blocks uh, see 
for example in db context class actually the we have blogs and also we have posts whatever db set we have created right so those db set we have so i just asking to okay i need to blogs okay blog db set and i need to include that post that means whatever i set the navigation property so it is just called as a eagle loading also entity framework by default taking a eagle loading so that in the eagle loading whatever data in a relationship data like in a blog is a relation this the post table right so that's whatever data it will actually load it over here and then it will get it give give it to us okay there's a, another concept of entity framework that is called is a lazy loading okay so the lazy loading that means it is a uh, you know on demand on demand get the data okay so don't worry about that that will that session i will create and later i'll explain that lazy loading and eagle loading okay but here the mechanism like see the blogs table and then include that post table okay and then to list so that i can get all the data of their blog to post list whatever you know relation data so all the data will get over here and then finally i need to conversion okay so this is a entity okay so see it is written an entity and now what i don't want to show is in a full entity actually with this entity class will not show to in a ui so that what i need to do i need to create an you know, one class okay so that whatever uh, you know dto or whatever you know view model i want to show in in, in the user so that i can just create it over here and we can map and we'll give it to user okay let me create that model okay and just create you know those property like block okay there's a one property two property and three property okay let me change the name over here like i want to show the block id i want to show the block title okay and i want to show the post content okay whatever in the post table has a content so that things this three things i want to show you okay in the user okay and finally see i get the data all the data over here and this data i just create as you know i use the link you query so that i just for the conversion nothing else main things is here like i i just getting the data with the eagle loading okay uh, that after that we are just trying to manipulate and the list okay and that i'll just show in the ui okay so it is very simple like x dot block title and post has a content okay that's it that's it for this you know get list all the blocks okay let me let me you know create then you know get by id okay so not get by ID. so first we'll create in you know, a post endpoint okay so let me create that post so that i just how i can just you know add the data inside this blog table and so that it will go to in the in a post table as well so that that operation will do over here now insert operation okay so let me copy the code so that we can be we can save our time and okay so see it is very simple again public action result okay create and just simply whatever user will send over here okay same things we have to get from user like user will send this block uh, block id not because block id by default will be zero so that is not required so we will send a block title okay so whatever block title will be send and whatever content will send it will store in the block table it will store in the post table okay so it's very simple again just change to block title and so this is it is a see i create a i just create an instance of that block entity and block entity what i need to pass i need to pass the block title okay see if you go to this table okay so this class see uh, this is entity so it is required this block id block title and post right so that we have just to create actually entity to dto to entity okay so this block id block title i send i send and post also like whatever post content we are getting from ui so that i'm getting and finally what i'm trying to do in the blog db context actually there's a 
table actually to be set we have to there is a mechanism add in this add mechanism whatever data we have to create it okay we'll pass so it will just insert just add actually in the db context and finally once i try to save change so that will it will commit okay and after commit just what in what we are doing just whatever data is saved just showing in the ui so that user can confirm okay data is saved successfully and which data is saved successfully okay so that is done okay and here actually just we have to call the another endpoint that is name and get block by id okay so that is done for the post okay let me create that one don't worry i'll i'll just run once i complete every operation like insert update delete everything then i'll i'll run and will show in the database as well like how the inserted update or delete the data into our table okay so let me get that get by id as well okay so see it is again simple i will ask to user to get the id which id you want to uh, want to show in the ui okay so i want to suppose block id one i want to show the block id one so it is again simple db context as block include the post and first and default and then filter the block id okay suppose i passes to five so five it will filter the five and block id will get if it is not there that definitely it will return to you know not found okay if it is there then what i will do i just again you know uh, the map to block entity to dto okay it is very simple again just whatever block block will get entity just assign to block id title and post content and just show you uh, show it as a json format okay so it is done also get by id now i will do update update operation let me copy this okay so see again whatever i want to update so i need to one id okay which block i want to update i want to update that based on the id also i need to pass that body okay same body okay and here you will see that i want to update this this title of block table from the block table and also i want to update in post content whatever i pass the content okay so let me okay so simple again it is check okay if it is match this whatever this id and whatever you know route parameter id if not match so that means it is bad request if it is match so then what we'll do we'll again just you know the db set block db set we have just include that post and then we have to filter okay and after that what we are trying to do we have to set whatever this here whatever is updated entity okay so we are getting from the user in the body body so whatever update is one that will be upset over here and whatever update post content that also be upset to in a block post content okay and then finally it is save change and return to no content okay and then finally last last operation is delete one okay again it is very simple to delete simply uh, we call to http delete http verb okay and call it to delete block passes to id and again simple the block include the post entity okay and then filter and after that filter if it is there if it is not there then it is not found it is there then finally i need to remove this entity from that block entity so it will remove the block table as well as the post table as well and finally save change okay so this is done okay let me collapse okay see the all entity all the you know operation has been created like post get put delete okay and let me run also okay now it's running okay and now see in the swagger it is showing me the whatever endpoint we have created okay so let me first call the get all the blocks okay let me try execute 
see there is nothing okay let me put the debugger point over here so that we can check how's that request cat and data is populating okay let me execute okay see debugger is there and then it is calling that here see it is nothing because as of now there is no data and finally it is empty array okay so let me also you can see side by side we can see side by side actually okay so see whatever we are trying to do so that code also generated in here also see so now i want to insert okay so i need to insert so let me insert it is a primary key so i don't need to pass this block id but yeah i want to pass something i want to add okay so before adding i am also want to show you like the data is available or not okay so see there is no data for blog and there is no data for post okay so now let me add something like blazer blazer blog okay and blazer is a ui prime work okay and let me execute see it is executing also see it is execute the insert query and block and contain and then value returning post id okay so <clears throat> also need to check in the dv it is adding or not okay see i add a one block okay which is a blazer and what is the post over here so see post is a that blazer is a ui framework and with this foreign key of that blog id okay same thing we can check over here as well again that execute okay the debugger is there so let me f10 f10 so see now it is returning the data of you know blog id and also see the navigation property also have a data all the related to data okay the post data and finally it will show you the data okay so that is get post done get by id also let me check like id2 it is not there because id2 is not there what was the id it was it was one okay so let me add one let me filter one okay see block id is there one id is there okay now i need to update okay so let me update that okay let me pass that id okay and title was previous it was blazer now i will change to ef core one ef core okay and now contain is implement one to one relationship okay demo okay let me execute okay see it's 200 okay and let me check in db first okay see the block name has changed the af core and also the post also changed to na, implement one to one relationship demo okay so okay and now finally i want to delete as well so delete operation let me fire the delete id one then execute see it is deleted and let me check it should be gone the data see and also post table also data gone so see it is maintaining the relation one to one relationship whatever the primary table we have to remove again it's remove the you know that foreign key relationship table as well okay so so far what we have done just recap one more time okay and uh, yeah so see like uh, first we have to just create it actually that uh, that a table and you know, entity like you know block and you know post 
okay and blog actually has a you know um, one to one relationship this post table okay and also is a prime foreign key of the blog id in the post table okay and then i i have to create you know we have to create actually the entity blog entity and post entity also we have to create the db context okay also db set and we have to create a uh, one modeling on modeling creation okay and after that actually we just we just actually set that uh, a connection string into in this app setting.json file okay and finally we have you know resolve the dependency of that db context over here okay and uh, finally i just we have just you know uh, we just you know uh, just execute the two command okay that add migration and that uh, update migration okay so that your db can your schema can generate it and push to your you know db whatever your db okay so that's it and upcoming session you know next session will will learn how this is actually one to one relation okay so in next session we'll learn you know one to many relation okay so block table has a many you know one to many relationship with the post okay like one block can have multiple post okay so that will can manage okay so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe